In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get a quote from our website. The first thing you want to do is you want to search the products. This is our main page, which is at justforfunpartyrentals.com. And you'll notice that there are some ways to get a quick quote. We do not prefer that method because then you're leaving your items up to us to select and you may not get the right items. We have a very easy to use cart system on this website and that's what we prefer. And you can look at products in several different ways. There's some new products shown on the first page. Top rented products if you're not sure where to start. And then we have a quick search so that you can search items like pink and get all of the items that are pink listed in an easy drop down. The best way to look at our products, however, is going to be either with the full rental catalog or the will call catalog. Will call catalog will list all of the items available for will call. We rent thousands of items. Not all of them are available for will call. Only selected items are available for self pickup. So in this scenario, I'm going to actually get a quote for 50 white shivari chairs. And in this scenario, I'm going to pretend that I'm having a wedding a ceremony at Chase Palm Park. So how did I find this shivari chair? What I did is I went to the full rental catalog. As you can see, there's different categories uh, that make sense. So furniture has all of the furniture in it. Tabletop has all of the things that you would put on your top of your table, including linens and china. And then food services, buffet items, and catering uh, things. And then AV stands for audiovisual. We carry a full line of audiovisual products, including TVs, projections, sound systems, theaters, everything that you could possibly need in that regard. Then we carry tents and umbrellas, heaters and fans for cooling. We have um, air conditioners as well. And then the next category says flooring and staging. We carry uh, dance floor and staging, carpets and rugs. Decor and drapery is for something called pipe and drape. We also have tapestries here like pillows and fabric. We have some decorative items like faux flowers, pennant flags, and props. The next item says arches and wedding items. So in this item, in this category, you're gonna see aisle runners, chalkboard signs, easels, arches, kneeling benches, and props. These are all common things rented for weddings, although you could find also these items in other categories as well. Stanchions and crowd control, those are for um, controlling the crowd. Games and entertainment, we actually have a full line of games and entertainment, including carnival games, lawn games, uh, table games, bouncers, outdoor movie theaters, and photo booths. We do offer several generators, just in case there's no power at your location. Miscellaneous event rentals is if you can't find something, it might be in here. So we just have this as a extra. There's garment racks and steamers, trash cans, and some party supplies. And then balloons, um, we do a full line of balloons. So you could get balloon decorations. We also rent helium tanks for DIY balloons. And we sell latex and mylars. So in this scenario, we're gonna go back to the furniture. We're gonna go under chairs. And when you go into a category, it's gonna list the items like this. This is not the end of the listing. You could add to quote from here. However, if you don't know the size of these items or you want additional information, what we recommend doing is either clicking on the picture or the name of the product. This will get you through to a more detailed product page. So down here you'll be able to see the product dimensions, the color, and maybe even a video if it's available for that product. This product does have a video, so I might imagine how this is going to look at my ceremony. And so yes, I do like this chair, so I'm going to add 50 of these chairs by clicking the Add to Quote. Now I've already done this, so it'll take you to a page that it'll keep you on the same page, but it'll say that you've added that. You can always go to your quote cart up here or on the side. So in this situation, I'm going to view cart and I'm just going to review it. Yes, this is what I want. I want 50 of those. If I want more or less, 
I can just use the um, this area. I can also just type in the number. So I'm going to proceed to checkout. It says submit your quote request. So right here is where uh, the key details are needed so that we can actually get you a quote. We have to check the date, the time, and the products, and the labor to see if it's available. That's why we don't quote things online. We, there's a lot of information we need in order to give you a correct price. So I'm going to put in my billing details here. I'm going to create an account. But I'm going to ship to a different address. So this is the address that's needed. If you do not know the address, we probably won't send you a quote. Um, you may get an error. Um, what I would suggest is looking up the address unless it's a known venue, park, or hotel. If it's a known hotel or park or a known large venue, you can put the name of it in there. We probably have it in our system. In this case, Chase Palm Park is a public park. I'm just going to put that in because I don't know the address. And yes, it's, I'm going to put 93101 because that's downtown Santa Barbara. And it says right here, guest count approximate. So I have 50 guests, maybe more or less. What date do I need this for? I need this for the 7th, or excuse me, the 17th. And delivery time needed. Well, my event starts at 10 a.m. So I'd like to have the chairs there at 8 o'clock in the morning. Pickup date is going to be the same date. If you leave this blank, we'll just assume that you're flexible on the pickup. At a park, a hotel, etc., um, it'll be the same date. But in this scenario, I'm going to put in that date for uh, the person who's going to bid for me. And the pickup time, well, I'm done with my event at 11 o'clock. So they can come at 12 p.m. I should be fine after that. And this says I prefer self pickup. Well, we have this here because there's no option for will call. So if you had picked will call items, then then you would click here. Otherwise, as I mentioned earlier, most items are not available for self pickup. And um, so I'm going to say no, I need full service. I'm having a wedding ceremony and I would like it to be set up for me. Here's my products that I'm getting a quote for. I have read and agree to the terms and conditions. Then what you do is you say get quote and it'll take you to a page that says you're all set and that is that. You're finished getting your quote and you can always go back and edit it. You can return uh, to your login. So you can go up here to our, when you get to our website, you can always log in or register. If you've created a, a account in the past, um, it's always good to just go ahead and log in because then that way, um, it has all of your data and it'll know who you are. You won't have to fill all this information out each time. That's it. That's how to use our website.